What does Source Energy want you to know today? What message is here for you? Welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. And I'm dedicated to bringing you daily tarot readings, insightful messages and spiritual guidance to help you navigate life's ups and downs. It's my mission to empower and inspire you to live your best life, tap into your inner wisdom and help you untangle your most complex connections. So join me every day. I hope you're doing well. What does Source Energy want you to know today? I'm going to split the deck into four. In a moment, we'll do some charms. The King of Wands reversed. The Five of Swords reversed. And then we have the Nine of Swords reversed. There's something that you're really, really, really not sure about. You're really not sure about it. It feels like you're delaying making a decision. The more you delay it, the more frustrated you get. It's not too far from what we want is these two cards to be the other way up. And this card to just disappear. The Nine of Swords, when it's reversed for me, it's self-doubt. You're doubting yourself. You're massively doubting yourself at the moment. Um, the Five of Swords, you're refusing to pick. You're refusing to decide. You're delaying it. You're putting it off. You're not deciding what you're fighting for. You're not deciding if you're walking away. And because you're not making your mind up and you're doubting yourself, you're putting yourself in this place of absolute frustration. The king, it's not the king of wands, it's the knight of wands. The knight of wands is a card of frustration. It's a card of no movement. It's a card of, I know I have to do it, but I don't want to do it. Or I'm just going to wait for the moment to pass. Or I'm going to let it be up to somebody else. I'm going to let the other person decide. And by doing that, you're causing all these hold-ups in your life at the moment. And you probably don't want to hear that you're causing all the hold-ups. But there's something here that you're doubting yourself on. Maybe there's someone around you that's just made you lose a little bit of confidence. I'm going to pull from the charms within a circle of protection. What do the charms want you to know? Private readings are always available. Tarot can really help you make choices and decisions. So we have the Russian nesting doll being different things to different people. We have a measuring a cylinder. We have a mermaid's tail that's trying to swim off and it's like a grey, charcoal grey colour. We have a key. Maybe you're waiting to move. And it's just hold-ups. Maybe you've been waiting for someone to move with you. Uh, we have a boat sailing on, being set free. We have a gorgeous flower. If any of the charms mean anything, you will know if they mean anything to you. Mostly the charms kind of bypass me. We have a clam shell. Someone keeps clamming up. Um, they mainly bypass me, but they mean something to you. We have another flower. And we have a W. The chemistry with you and someone is amazing, by the way. But just because it's amazing doesn't mean that they should keep leaving you waiting. I'm going to put the charms to one side. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you. What do you need to know? What is around you at the moment? What is it that you're putting off? That you're really putting it off? What's, there's a lack of action. What is it? Why is it? Let's have a look. What you need to know, what's around you, opportunities to come towards you, choices that you need to make, possible outcomes, possible attainment. The first card is all about you, you're feeling frustrated, it's 
it feels like you've decided oh well it's not my choice anyway it's their choice so I can't do anything until they decide you can do something if they're delaying and delaying and delaying there are things that you need to do but you need to make a choice even if you make the choice of I'm going to sit here and wait that's a choice but make that choice you know make it so that okay I'm choosing to sit here and wait if it's a a thing where you're waiting for the other person to agree you can take the offer off the table you can back out of it you can go okay your your time's up you've messed me around I'm gonna go and open opportunities elsewhere or you can choose and sit and wait but make sure it's a choice make sure that you know that that's what you're deciding to do okay I'm gonna sit here and wait I'm gonna give it a week I'm gonna give it a month I'm gonna give it a year put a time frame on it and then you're in control of it And then, okay, once I've finished waiting, if I get to that deadline and they still haven't done the thing, what are you then going to do? So have a choice and a plan. Have a make your choice and have your plan and you will feel more control in things. And don't be scared to walk away from something that's just not happening. And don't be scared to just give it a bit of time as well. It's like, what, what are you doing? Are you walking towards it? Are you waiting? That seems to be the question. But make sure that you know that you're the one that's in control. We have the two of cups, which is the question. The two of cups is you're waiting for somebody else to do the thing they need to do to play their part. The two of cups is all about love. But within business, it's that partner being on the same level. Um, It can be about communicating. It can be about, do you know what? I'm finding it really hard to sit here and wait at the moment. If there's other things that you need answers to before you make your mind up, ask the questions. Don't be scared to ask the questions. Any questions that you have that you need answering that's going to impact your decision, make sure you ask them. Sometimes we put off asking questions because we don't want to hear the answer. Um, But the answer will put you in a place of, Okay, now I know what I need to do, you know. And if you don't get the answer from the other person, then maybe they're a time waster. Because anyone that values you, this is money involved, the six of coins, anyone that values you will answer your questions. Uh, The six of coins, money going in, money going out, in exchange for finances, if you're going through a house move at the moment, feels that whole chain of things all the things that got a slot into place if it's a love situation that you're waiting for the other person make sure they're putting in the kitty what you want what you're putting in make sure they're putting in what you're putting in and if they're not make sure they've got a valid reason why they're not right now and make sure that you're making the choice and decision of whether you're waiting for them or not you don't have to wait for them You don't have to walk away from them either. You can just wait, but you don't have to. It's your choice. It's your decision. You're the one that's decide. If you decide to wait, it's you're the one that's deciding to. Remember that. You're not out of control of the situation. We've got the three of swords. There's a lot of pain involved here. Um, Also, there's a fear of pain. A fear of getting my heart broken. It's like if you ask those tricky questions and then you have to accept the answer. And if it's the answer that you don't want, that's going to hurt. And there's an awareness of, oh, that, that will hurt if it's not what I want to hear. But you're hurting yourself more by not asking the questions, asking this person or this situation the questions that you need answered. Because you're just delaying it. Because who knows, it might be a positive answer. And if it's a positive answer, then you have to then put a time frame on it. But then you have to wait and see if it happens. But you have to kind of take the answer and see, okay, well, they've said that. If they've said that a million times before, then you probably know it's delaying. But you may hear something that makes sense, like really makes sense. And it will help you in your decision making. There's a whole message here for somebody today of make a choice. Make your decision. Make your decision. Decide for yourself. Decide for yourself. Stop putting it off. 
in the past is the Eight of Swords restrictions put around boundaries, frustrations. Feels like you've been in this place of I don't wanna I don't wanna rock the boat, I don't wanna move things forward, I don't I don't wanna keep sitting here, but um Make sure when you ask the questions that you need to ask that you actually listen to the answers. Sometimes we don't want to ask questions, but then we do. We close our ears. We only hear the thing that we want to hear. Hear what is there. Don't keep shut yourself off from whatever it is. Don't be scared for it. If you're going through house moves at the moment, be more open. Don't be so rigid. Be more open be more open to everything that's on the horizon rather than hyper focusing on one thing. Um, yeah, don't get trapped in something you don't want to be in. And that goes for a relationship as well. The two of coins, choices. You've got to pick one. This is your opportunity to come make your choice. Make your choice. Are you in it? Are you waiting? Are you walking away? Do that today. Write your pros and cons. Write the questions that you need answering. Get those answers and then decide what you're doing. Make the choice. Can you afford it? If you can't, open yourself back up for other opportunities that are on the, ho on the horizon. If it's a love situation, make sure that you're getting what you need out of it because if you're not, open yourself up to true love. Open yourself up to being loved and loving. And it's an equal thing. It's not one person feeling down and unhappy. Love is two people wanting each other to be really happy. The secret underlying question for today is the three of ones. Get moving. Get moving. Make a choice. Get moving. Get moving. That's the that's the the message today. I'm gonna to keep repeating it. I'm gonna to get told off in the comments for repeating it. Get moving. Make a choice. Get moving. So that kind of rules out sitting and waiting, doesn't it? I think you've waited long enough. Ask the questions. Decide what you're doing with the answers. Have a plan. One step at a time. Feel like you're moving again. At the moment, because things are stagnant, you have to feel like you're moving in one way or another. It will help you so much better. Temperance, the timing on this. Yeah. A natural flow of energy. Things moving again. And it comes from in you. It's your vibration. It's your communication. It's you picking up from the world what you need to. And it's a lot better than the Eight of Swords. You're going from here to here. Closed off and unhappy to being open to what the universe is wanting. Sometimes we just have to open up it and listen to what the universe has to say. And sometimes when the universe is making things really difficult in a certain situation, it's almost like your angel guides going, you need to look at this again because it's not quite what you think it is. So when you re-look at it sensibly with an open heart and an open mind, rather than what you want to hear, rather than dressing it up, rather than making pin, pin all your fears to it, actually open up and listen to it. Open up and listen to your angels right now. They know what's best for you. It's annoying, but they do. We've got the Queen of Cups, absolutely lovely, as your attainment. And then your outcome, new beginning for you. The Queen of Cups is your intuition, your love again, feeling loved. It's nice going from the devil to the Queen of Cups. Um, be open to what's coming next in your life. Your life isn't sitting and waiting here in this place where you are at the moment. The Ace of Swords is a brand new path for you. You're taking control of it. You're walking forward. Your determination, your ambition. Stop hiding from life. So that's what I have for you today. If this is your reading, let me know. 
you'll know if it is. If you like a private reading, they are available. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection. So you aim to take you on your way. And thank you so much for being here with me today.